called Mother of Two from Hertfordshire. I work as a part-time mediator and I am also what we refer to as a leaker because I suffer from a cerebrospinal fluid leak. Prior to my leak, I was a fit, active and healthy young woman. I ran several times a week. I practiced regular yoga and I could often be found off up in the hills on lovely long hikes. <laughs> um, and with two young daughters um, constantly on the go, life was very full and busy and I very rarely stood still. Then came March the 11th, 2015 and the onset of my CSF leak, which um, initially presented itself as a niggly headache, quickly progressing to what at the time we assumed was a severe migraine. Um, so I took myself to bed where unfortunately I stayed for the next two months because every time I sat up, every time I stood up, I experienced what could only be described as severe, debilitating and terrifying head pain and accompanying neurological symptoms. Just engaging in normal, everyday, essential activities such as going to the toilet, showering, um, preparing food were immensely challenging because of the symptoms that I was experiencing. It was a very difficult time for our family and it was incredibly scary. We went back and forth to the doctors and the hospital but unfortunately nobody could quite pinpoint what exactly was wrong with me. Um, we thought it might be a nasty virus, a sinus infection, um, a particularly um, brutal migraine, um, a tension headache and so on. Um, and eventually, after what felt like a very long time, I was referred on for an MRI scan of my brain and spine. And following that scan, I was very quickly seen by a neurologist who diagnosed me with intracranial hypotension um, as a result of a CSF leak. My MRI scan had shown large pockets of leaked spinal fluid in my body and a slumping brain as a result of the loss of fluid around it. Um, this explained the symptoms I was experiencing and why when I stood up they were so much worse and when I lay down they were eased dramatically because my brain was able to resume its, its normal position inside my skull when I was in the horizontal position. We suspect that my CSF leak was caused by a number of, of um, things, a bit of a perfect storm of circumstances really. Um, I have some degeneration on my spine, which apparently is very normal for somebody of my age, um, but that's resulted in some bone spurs, some little rough um, bits of bone that perhaps were rubbing against the dura, dura membrane um, and perhaps rubbing it thin um, in all the activities and the stretching that I was um, engaging in. The dura membrane is the membrane that um, contains the spinal fluid. The day before the onset of my leak symptoms, I also had a very vigorous sports massage, um, which perhaps may have contributed to, to the onset of my leak. And in addition to that, I'm also slightly hypermobile, so I am a little bit more bendy and stretchy than a lot of other people, and it's quite possible that my connective tissue inside my body isn't made up quite in the way that it should be, which may well have left me susceptible to experiencing a CSF leak at some point in my life. In terms of treatment, um, as time went on following my initial MRI scan and neuro neurology appointment, um, I was finding that I was able to be upright for increasing amounts of time with um, less severe symptoms. Um, so the decision was made to um, manage my, my CSF leak um, conservatively. My most recent scans still show large pockets of, of leaked spinal fluid. Um, however, I am what we refer to as a functional leaker, so I'm able to be upright for most of the day, I can still go to work and so on. And it's, it's quite probable that the reason for that is because my body is making spinal fluid at a, a faster rate than it's losing it, so that is enabling me to be upright. However, not a day goes by when I don't experience symptoms. Um, I have a lot of headaches on varying scales, um, from niggly headaches to full-blown, severe, um, migraine type type headaches. Um, I have a lot of neck pain and stiffness. Um, I experience tinnitus on various levels and often feel like my ears are full as though I'm underwater. And um, I also experience a lot of um, fatigue and brain fog as well. In terms of how it impacts on my daily life, um, I, I tw try not to dwell too much on the fact that at, at present I'm not the mother that I envisaged I would be. Um, I'm not um, leaping around, um, engaging in energetic activities with the girls. Um, I can't lift heavy weights, so no um, piggybacking or, or anything like that. 
um, because any of those things could quite easily aggravate my leak and send me back to where I was in, in the very early days, which quite clearly that's, that's not what we want. I am always very, very conscious of the fact and extremely grateful um, that I am able to be a functional leaker because there are a great many um, CSF leakers out there who spend most of their day flat in order to manage their pain and their symptoms. Um, and as a result of that, I'm very um, passionate and very committed to flying the flag um, for CSF leaks, to raise awareness um, and to try and secure appropriate and timely diagnosis and treatment for, for other leakers. Because as we are told, um, it is a fixable problem, so um, let's get on and get, get this problem fixed um, and let all the leakers out there get on with their normal, rich, healthy and happy lives. Thank you very much indeed for watching and please spread the word.